Hey guys, welcome to this next video uh, over at Data with Dominic. Today we're going to be looking at how to use the key pros functionality in the Power Query Editor. So let's dive into the demo. So I'm using Power BI Desktop uh, on Windows to get a free access to the Power Query Editor. I have a link in the description of this video uh, which uh, lets you download Power, Qu uh, Power BI Desktop for free. And apart from that, I've just loaded some sample data from an old data feed. I've got videos on how to do that, or you can watch one of the previous videos where I go to the go through the steps in detail. But now you can see I've got this table of data here and we can look at how to use the key pros functionality. So the key pros is basically out here in the home tab. And what it allows us to do is it allows us to choose the rows that we want to keep in this uh, particular table or query as uh, Power Query Editor refers to tables. We can click on the key pros and then we get multiple options. I'm just going to take you to the top uh, three because that's what in, what's important for you guys as of now. So keep top rows basically allows us to keep uh, the first n number of rows that we specify. So if we specify the first five rows, watch these five uh, first five custom IDs, those will remain. So once that transformation is done, we get the top five rows. But suppose we cancel that and then we do keep bottom rows and then we choose the bottom five rows. You can see that we bring up the the rows from the bottom of the tables and cancelling that and finally looking at keep range of rows uh, we can specify the first row that we want to pull in and then the number of rows from that particular first row that we specified so i'm going to do from three to five so that'll be three till eight in the whole table so you can see it's very simple how it works and it's an important uh, uh, part of uh, the Power Query Editor, especially when you're dealing with huge uh, uh, rows of data or huge tables of data which have many, many rows and you want to cut down on that just to get a basic sample idea of the table. It's quite a pop popular functionality. And the other two are basically uh, some more advanced use cases. Keep duplicates always, uh, obviously will be used only in specific types of tables where there will be duplicate rows of data and keep errors will be uh, used can be used to just keep uh, rows of data where there are errors such as nulls or uh, things are not adding up data types are incorrect and you can work on those so yeah that's a little bit about the key pros functionality in uh, the power query editor thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next one